in 2024 today is election day in Alabama. Many voters will cast ballots in the primary runoff to decide who moves on to the general election in November. The polls opened at 7 o'clock this morning. They'll stay open until 7 o'clock this evening. Now, for some, the only race on the ballot today is for Alabama's 2nd Congressional District, an important position that could have major impacts in Washington. Here's WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts with a preview. The battle for Alabama's second congressional district moving from the U.S. Supreme Court and now to the voters of Alabama. The district, once a Republican stronghold, could flip to the Democrats come November. Here are the candidates for the Republicans. Dick Brubaker and Caroline Dobson are running for the GOP nomination for the seat formerly held by Barry Moore. For the Democrats, Shamari Figures faces Anthony Daniels for the Democratic nomination. Both hope to become the first Democratic representative in District 2 since Bobby Bright all the way back in 2008. District 2 used to cover parts of Montgomery and the Wiregrass, but the Supreme Court ordered Alabama to redraw it so that African-American voters have a chance to elect the candidate of their choice. It now covers parts or all of 14 counties, stretching from the Georgia state line all the way to the Mississippi state line. And with so many potential voters, election officials say they are hoping to see a higher turnout than is normally expected for a runoff. Historically, the turnout for a runoff race is lower than the primary, but we're hoping that because of this race that it does drive turnout and turnout is higher this time. The general election is set for November 5th with the winner potentially playing a crucial role in the balance of power in the U.S. House of Representatives. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. And WSFA 12 News is your election headquarters. We have live coverage tonight of all the big races, including results at the bottom of your screen as soon as the polls close. You can also go back and watch our District 2 debate and find sample ballots. That's all in the elections section of WSFA.com.